Chris and Travis. I'm Travis. And I'm Chris. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to catch us on Instagram at Real Talk with Chris and Travis. So, I think we're going to just talk about, like, you know, the experiences we have, um, you know, trying to get in shape, going to the gym, trying to stay healthy, you know, because you got to be healthy, right? Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, it's a pandemic out here. You, you, you got to keep your respiratory system strong. <laughs> In my case, like, you know, I weigh 190. I'm trying to drop about 40 pounds, maybe maybe 39. <laughs> you know, trying to get to a decent weight in this stomach area of mine. Yeah, I mean, the pandemic, I mean, it make it easy for you to gain weight because, you you know, a lot of people sitting at home, they're working from home. So, I mean, right. <laughs> you going to stay in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> or at least stay in the living room close to the kitchen. Yeah. You know, but it's... You know, I, I know for one, I didn't gain some weight, you know what I'm saying? And I don't feel like it's affecting my health, but I do want to be at a healthier weight because, I mean, you know, I want to live long, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to do more things physically in life, so I want to get my weight down and under control, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So, you know, um, man, I, all I can say is I understand why people go to the gym. It's it's addicting, you know. You get in there and there's there's machines and weights and stuff like that, you know. And and being a person who has a disability, I I tend to like the machines more than the free weights, because they tend to help more with like you know leg workouts and things like that. Um, it makes it easier for me to work my chest or my stomach, you know, whatever area I choose to work with. And I think the machines are a lot easier. Um, you know, but my whole gym experience. I don't know, I kind of feel like it's the same when you go to the store. You get people kind of looking at you kind of funny. I know I look funny when I climb on machines. <laughs> I, because most times when I get a, when I got to climb on like a machine that has a chair or some type of bench on it, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, it don't look normal. <laughs> it don't look normal at all. I got to turn myself backwards, you know, lift myself up, slide back. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole, a whole thing. You know, people run up, hey, man, I thought you was falling backwards. I was coming to help you. Like, I I don't need your help. I was just getting on the machine, you know. Yeah, I kind of get the same experience when I go to the gym. I mean, people look at me and they run up like, you need help? You know, cause I guess because of the way I do things. I don't, sometimes I don't even like my brakes when I get out of my chair. Oh. I just, <laughs> I just climb on a machine, you know, just, and they think I'm about to fall because they see the chair rolling and I'm climbing out trying to get on the chair, so. They run up and I'm like, I'm good, I got it, you know. And they see me working out and they're like, oh, man, you seem pretty strong. So I'm like. <laughs> you seem pretty strong. I mean, I'm, <laughs> see, like, when you when you disable certain things, is a workout every day. Yeah. I mean, look at Travis, man. He, he got to push his physical self with the chair, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's a workout every day. Yeah. You know, it, <laughs> I, I can't put it no more, more you know, simpler than that. <laughs> Certain things for us is a workout every day. Um, I use what they call elbow crutches, and I lift myself up to move myself. You know, so me, you know, working my arms, that's that's every day. You know, I don't really need a gym for that, but, you know, it's, it's other exercises, other body parts that make it easier to work, you know, with the machines in the gym. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I don't know, I just had a train of thought when you say you be getting it on the machine and you don't lock the brakes on the chair like yeah. had you ever had a situation where like you was on the machine but the chair rolled kind of far from you I mean pretty much I had a pretty much kind of like jump you can say mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah I had, I had it before had you ever had to ask somebody hey can you roll that chair back up here like uh no not at the gym but actually getting in my truck because I forgot to lock my brakes <laughs> And I wasn't paying attention. I was getting in my truck. I think my phone had it wrong. And uh, so I was focused on my phone, and my chair was steady rolling back. Oh no! <laughs> and when so, I noticed it, it's like it was I couldn't reach it. So I had a, I saw somebody come out the store. And I just got their attention and they grabbed it for me. <laughs> so there's still some good people in this world, man. Yeah. <laughs> I always wonder about that, like. I guess like locking your brakes is something you would never forget to do, but I mean it can happen. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean I'm just used to not locking my brakes. I don't know why. It's... And don't feel bad. I hate going in stores when it's wet outside, because everything is like a surface I can slip on. Mm -hmm. 
I remember I went in um in Shoppers Value, <laughs> and dude, I don't know what happened. I know it was raining outside and it stopped. And the crutches, I got in the store, and as I'm moving, they both like went to left and right at the same time. And I, I hit the floor so hard it knocked the wind out of me. Mm. You know, but right. see, that's why it pays to work your upper body because you gonna need it when you in my situation. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> you gonna need it, man. And you know, my my gym experience though, I particularly like you know, I go to the gym and shoot ball. That's how I like to you know get my my energy up and stuff like that. And I've I've made a couple friends by doing that. I guess it shocked people that I shoot basketball with one arm or something. I don't know, cause I keep a crutch on me and I shoot ball. But it's just to get my heart rate up. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to lose weight, you gotta burn that off. Mm -hmm. So you got to you know your heart rate got to get to pumping. You gotta move. You know, and that's what I like to do. I like to use basketball to get me moving. You know, but I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think a gym experience is for everybody. I mean, my experience going to the, like you said, the basketball gym, I mean, people look at me and I, and they see, when, when they see me roll in there, I don't think they'd be, they be expecting to see me shooting the way I shoot, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm shooting behind a three-point line, and they like, man, this dude hardly missing. So, <laughs> they looking like, okay. Tell them big money. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I think they kind of... They're not expecting to see me shoot so far out, you know. Yeah, I, I, say, I like to surprise people. Yeah, me too. It'd be a party every day. <laughs> you know, but I tend to, I don't know, when you when you go in the gym, do you have like a workout routine you use or you just? Yeah, when I go to the gym, I usually go to like, I used to go, like, go around a track. Mm -hmm. I do like about three laps around the track. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean three miles. I mean two or three miles. Okay. And, and then I do some hand weights. Do a few exercises with the hand weights. Probably okay. do like maybe like a I don't know, like the the dumbbells. The dumbbells. And I raise it up over my head. Do some chest workouts. Then uh yeah that's about it. I might use a few machines. I don't know the names of the machines though. Like the machine. I, I don't either. I know what part they work. I just don't know the, you know, I don't, I don't, um, like I say, I don't go to the gym much because driving is an issue for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, that's why I, I like to have a home gym system in my house. Mm -hmm. And I know like on the home gym system, there's a, um, what they call an incline press, which basically you, you know what I'm saying? You have your hands like this holding some bars. And it's got the pulley system with the weights, and you're pushing out while the weight is pushing back on you. Okay, yeah. You know, so I do that, you know, to work my chest. That's the one I was thinking about. The like incline press? Yeah, I can't think about the name of it. That's the one. I like that one, too. Yeah, because, I mean, it's it's a real good workout on your arms and your chest, and I think, like, your shoulders all at the same time. I like that burn. Yeah, because I like something that's going to work a lot of muscles all at one time, you know. Um, there is also... This, uh, I don't even know what it's, I don't know the correct name for it, but it's a thing where you put your arms up like this, and you're trying to keep, the machine is trying to push the the bars you hold away from you, and you got to pull them back together. Are you squeezing it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that, you know, it works your, your shoulders and your chest and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I tend to, like, you know, work out on that machine, because it's like five or six exercises in one. I do that, like, three days a week, 15 minutes, you know, and I got to, um, an elliptical that's kind of made like a stationary like a bike that I'll you know I'll ride to kind of keep my hips loose keep my legs loose um it gives me a lot more like mo um, motion and flexibility and stuff like that mm -hmm. and also too I like on, on good days I like to walk around my neighborhood you know just go around the block and come back home or something like that um but it's it's been too hot and raining too much to do that lately so <laughs> I think working outside is the best for me I like working out outside because I feel like I get more of a workout when I do that. Especially if it's hot. Yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> I like to sweat. I don't really care for working out in the air condition. Yeah. Because you, cause sweating is how your body gets rid of fat. Mm -hmm. You know. Get your heart rate up and get you sweating. You know what I'm saying? I, I work out in the garage with no air. You know. So, 
you gotta sweat, you know, you gotta keep moving, you know what I'm saying? Um I think also too your diet kinda play a big part in that too. Yeah. If you you know, you consuming like too much sugar in my case. I, I <laughs> love Kool Aid, love bread, you know what I'm saying? I gotta have my bread, man. Yeah, that's hey, it's hard, man. Cause bre- bread come in different forms. <laughs> I like pie. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I gotta have my bread, especially when I have like some chicken or any type of meat. Yeah, you gotta have something to I go. Gotta have bread with it. Cornbread. That's that's the go. That's the go-to bread for me. Yeah. Cornbread, man. They say that's the worst. <laughs> I don't think I can resist bread, man. It's just, it's too hard. And see. I had looked up, like, why is bread so, like, you know what I'm saying? Why is it so dangerous as far as, not dangerous, but why is it such, like, a weight gainer? Mm -hmm. And it's mainly because it breaks down in your body and turns to sugar. And Mm -hmm. the sugar turns to fat. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why they say you can have it, but don't have so much of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I've heard of people that, they'll go to McDonald's and they will get, like, a a burger, but, you know, they'll they'll take the, the buns off of it. Yeah. But I'm like, how you how you eat the burger with no bun? How you hold it? You know what I'm saying? And they like basically they wrap lettuce around all of the stuff. Just wrap like wrap lettuce around the whole cheeseburger or whatever they got, and they eat it like that with no bread. It's still bad for you. I just <laughs> I don't know. I just think this is gonna it's gonna taste weird. I've never tried it. It just don't look it don't look right, man. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't. You know, but. For me, I think that, you know, your diet is a big part of it. Um, also, too, like, it's different different things you can do depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Like I said earlier in the podcast, um, you know, I'm trying to lose, like, 40 pounds. And I hadn't really started doing this yet, but, like, I plan on, like, drinking a lot more water and doing a lot of fasting. You know, that's mainly my go-to to lose weight is fasting um, throughout the day, drinking a lot of water. Trying to cut down on like cold drinks, Kool Aid, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, for as far as me, as far as losing weight, I try to uh, try to work out at least five days a week. Doing different things. Yeah, doing different things. How how long you like when you do your exercises? How long you doing for? About an hour. Ooh, that don't burn you out. Uh, it don't feel like an hour. You feel it goes by so fast. You don't really notice it. Are you are you able to stay consistent with your workout? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Like you like you can commit to a schedule every week and stick to it, or it be on and off. It be on and off. See, and that's what be messing me up. I'll be on and off. <laughs> I I wake up and be like, man, I gotta go get this workout in, and for about a good week, I'm good. See, the next week, the weight machine gonna see me and be like, who are you? Like, we ain't see you in three weeks. Where you, where you been? <laughs> yeah, like I said, I mean. I like working out outside, so, I mean, weather permitting, you know, I'll be outside. If it's raining, then pretty much mess up my uh, workout routine. Yeah, I see, like, working out outside is real cool, but for me, if it's if it's too hot, I'm talking like it's 89, 90 degrees already outside, that's, that's not going to happen today. <laughs> it's just not, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't take chances in heat. I think that's... For me, that's too dangerous. I can't do it. That's, um, that's the best time for me. It's, it's too hot. Because, like, okay, the last couple of days, it's been 100 plus degrees outside. That's the best time. <laughs> He's trying to pancake himself out. You're going to be there to cook yourself. Like. <laughs> that's the best time. I have me some water, some cold water, and I'm good. And that's another thing, too. I learned this from my, um, my doctor. He said a lot of people, when they work out and they're all they just doing stuff outside in the heat, a lot of people will drink water mm-hmm. to stay hydrated. He said, but what really needs to happen is you need to, like, have some variation. You need to, you know, drink two bottles of water, one bottle of Gatorade. Drink another two bottles of water, another bottle of Gatorade. He mm-hmm. said, because the the water will not put your electrolytes back that you sweat out. And that's why people get, you know, overheated and dehydrated because water don't put back what you need. Mm-hmm. See, I never, I never knew that. I just... You get hot outside, you drink water. <laughs> or I drink like a fruit smoothie. Those are good too, especially for weight loss. Yeah. Or even if you're trying to gain weight, I heard they put like you could put more peanut butter in a smoothie, and it'll help you like to build muscle and stuff. Mm-hmm. As long as you're working out while you do it. Yeah. 
you know, I never knew about the peanut butter. It's like a natural protein and stuff like that. So I was like, wow. Because as a kid, I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But again, that's sugar and bread. Yeah. <laughs> and the peanut butter make the smoothie taste all good. Does it really? I never had a, sm a smoothie with peanut butter in it. It's, it's amazing. There's always bananas and strawberries for me. That's it. Uh, put some, put some uh, peanut butter and some honey in there too. Huh. I learn something new every day. It's good. Add some green, some spinach. You know. Spinach? What about kale? You do that? You can add kale, whatever. That's how my wife likes her smoothies with the kale in it. Just any kind of green? See, I would have thought, I don't know. I, I don't, when I think about spinach being in a smoothie, I think it's going to throw the taste off. That's why I don't do it. You don't really taste it, though. You don't? Oh. See, I, again, y'all, I have never had a green smoothie. You don't really never. taste it. Yeah. I'm always... Is he, you know what I'm saying? Is either bananas and pineapples or pineapples and strawberries, and that's that's it. I don't go no further than that. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to stay in my lane. I feel like if I try something different with smoothies, I might crash. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's risky business. Huh? <laughs> I don't know, but y'all, you kind of put me on something new. You say peanut butter, honey, Some honey, and spinach. Spinach or kale, whatever. Now, what fruit? Kind of what fruits is you putting in there? In mine, I do strawberries, bananas. I do uh. Pineapple sometimes. That's one of my favorite fruits. I love pineapple. Then I put the honey and put the peanut butter in there. I put some almond milk. Okay, I feel you with the almond milk. Yeah. Cause I didn't know this y'all either. Regular sugar, even like the the one percent. I mean, not regular sugar. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Milk, regular milk, like like whole milk, um, one percent, two percent milk. All of that have sugar in it. I did not know. You know, I've been drinking milk, regular milk for years. <laughs> That's probably why I can't lose weight because of bread and milk. Like, <laughs> I eat cereal almost every morning because it's my, it's just quick. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but but um, almond milk, it, no sugar, and it still tastes great. Well, it depends on what kind of almond milk you buy. Some of it does have sugar in it. For real? See, I learned something again. Yes, you buying like the unsweetened? Yeah, because my wife is, she's um severely lactose intolerant she can't have no dairy products at all and that's how we found out about the almond milk we went to like a um i think we had went to like a, a health fair or something like that and at the health fair they was talking about the power of blueberries and they was talking about making um like smooth smoothies with blueberries and almond milk and all that and my wife was like what is almond milk and that's when they was explaining to her what it was and she was telling them how you know how lactose intolerant she was and they was like, you need to try almond milk. And you could you could put it on everything you can cook with it. And she been on almond milk ever since. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love blueberries, too. I put blueberries in my smoothie. I might put some blackberries in there, too. Blackberries, to me, is an acquired taste. I like them. Really? Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I got to expand my horizons. I got to try some new stuff. Yeah. Because, like, you know, peanut butter and smoothies, I never tried it. Spinach and smoothies, never tried it. <laughs> honey, I, I only had honey one time in my life. And that was just to try. I was trying to not put sugar in my oatmeal. So I put honey in there and some cinnamon. Nah. Mm -mm. I absolutely did not finish that bowl of oatmeal. Um, I hate to throw away food because I was always taught you don't waste food. Because <laughs> it cost somebody money and time. Mm -hmm. But I absolutely threw that whole bowl in the garbage and then made some with the sugar in it, knowing I was trying to lose weight. Like, <laughs> butter and sugar. I can't, and some stuff I just can't have have it without without it being in there, you know. Yeah. I think it's a mind thing, maybe. It can be. I think bread is my weakness. <laughs> it's my weakness, man. Bread is hard to get by, man. It really is. Because it, it go with so many meals. Yeah. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? You hungry, you make a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? You can't yeah. have a sandwich without the bread. It's, it's just not the same, man. It's not. You can't have, a, can't have nothing without bread, man. <laughs> Basically. You know what I'm saying? Any type of meal with some meat, come on. If, you don't have, if I don't have bread with it, it just don't taste right to me. It's feel like you're missing something. Like, man, yeah. this meal ain't complete. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what, though? Somebody was telling me, they said... I think a lot of times the way you're raised as a kid also affects the way you eat. Mm -hmm. And I thought about that. I was like, well, no, I don't think, you know, 
They was like, think about it. Your parents ever tell you, you can't leave until you finish your plate. Mm-hmm. You can't get up from the table until you finish your plate. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, yeah, because it costs them money to go buy the groceries and it costs somebody time to cook it. So if you got a little bit of food on the plate and you just don't want it, it's like, man, you got a small plate. Smash, yeah. smash that plate. You got to finish that. Right. <laughs> so then it's like it trains your mind as an adult that, I, like, I'm hungry, so I need to fill the plate up and I got to eat all of it. <laughs> you know, um, I remember like when I got diagnosed with acid reflux, the doctor was saying, you know, get your body used to eating smaller portions and stay away from certain foods and you'll be all right. And staying away from certain foods was hard because like I, I love pizza, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's tomato paste, tomato sauce, bread. <laughs> that's <laughs> the know? best part. You see what I'm saying? And I had to get, you know, get used to switching up the sauce, you know what I'm saying? Um... Not eating a whole pizza like I used to. Go to Subway, you got to get a six in, you know, the, the six inch instead of the foot long. That made me mad. <laughs> you know, but these are the things that I had to do, you know, in order to be healthy and, you know, not have no reflux problems and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, again, you know, going to the gym, getting in a routine, you know what I'm saying? Just all of that. All of it is, is necessary. You know, also I found out from a doctor that, you know, when you when you trying to work out and you're trying to, you know, lose weight or are you trying to, you know, just be healthy. Sometimes people make too many changes too fast and that's why they can't stick with it. Uh So like one change you can make is, you know, if you drink a lot of juice or you drink, you know, like cold drinks and um, you drink sweet tea and stuff like that. Just just switch out, you know, one of your drinks and drink some water. You know, or drink water with your breakfast, drink water with your lunch. Then you could drink whatever you want, you know, with your dinner or something like that. Yeah, I tend to drink more water than anything. I uh, I cut out sodas like a long time ago. I don't even crave them no more. Uh, I wish I could say that. Man, I don't even buy sodas. <laughs> I don't buy them at all. Man, I just bought a Coke two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> if I want something other than water, I buy like juice, like cranberry juice. Mm-hmm. I drink that. The cranberry juice don't make you like use the bathroom a lot when you drink that. Yeah, it make you. <laughs> no, I mean as far as like not trying to be gross or disgusting, uh, but just it know. does seem to the bathroom a lot. Cause I heard if it's it, like it'll flush you out. Yeah, flush your kidneys out. Yeah. That's um, a good thing though. You know, man, I I I try to make it a goal to drink like maybe three or four bottles of water a day. But like cutting out Coke completely was hard. Um, I switched from Coke to Dr Pepper. When I got diagnosed with the acid reflux, I was drinking like Diet Dr. Pepper and stuff because it was a lot smoother and it was good. And I'm like, but it still got sugar in it, so that don't help <laughs> when you're trying to, you know, drop 40 pounds. Um, I thought it was hard, gonna be hard too, but I mean, it's like you gotta train your mind not to think about it. You know, once you have control of your mind, mm-hmm. you don't even crave it no more. So do you think that maybe some people just have more willpower in that area than others? Like it's just possibly hmm. but I mean I feel like we all could do it though like if you drink, oh yeah if you drink yeah. a lot of sodas and you want to stop you, you can stop you can stop if you really want to cause I don't you know I don't be on the cold drinks and stuff that hard but like maybe in a week I might have three of them you know what I'm saying oh, no. but, I've, but I've known people like they buy 12 packs and they'll run through a 12 pack in like three days and buy another one I'm like how you Cause me, like, even if I like drinking something, like a Coke or Dr. Pepper or something, if I drink it too many times in a week, it starts getting nasty to me. Mm-hmm. And then I won't want it for like two weeks. I don't want it. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I always did like water. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Water, but, it, you know, my my sister always be like, but water has no flavor. <laughs> this, yeah, just, people say that all the time. That's why they don't drink water, because it has no taste. Yeah, like, <laughs> and then I wonder, like, the little powder things you can pour in the water to add flavor mm-hmm. is that sugar or is it not I mean cause, I ain't no telling what it is cause it's sweet you know what I'm saying so is it sugar I mean probably artificial stuff right and see everything is grown in a lab these days seeds even made in labs now <laughs> cause that's what I thought about like my, my house got pretty good soil so it's like to be healthy I'm gonna just buy seeds we gonna learn the form yeah Seeds is chemically engineered in the lab now, so the stuff you're growing with the seeds is still 
chemicals in your body. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, that's out. <laughs> you know. Yep. Man, but you, you know, I guess this episode, man, you, you know, you got to be healthy. And there's some different ways that we work out and exercise and stuff like that. You know, like we said before, you get creative in the way you do things because it is difficult doing some things. Um, yeah, and uh, hit the gym whenever you can. If you can't hit the gym, then work out outside, you know. Right. You, know you don't saying? have to do an hour. You can do 30 minutes. Right. Because, I mean, you can, your, your body could be the weight that you use. All you need is a little resistance. Yeah. That's why walking is so, it's easy to do, but it's also a good exercise. Because your body will tell you, okay, we didn't walked a little bit too much today, <laughs> and you, you know, you just keep pushing past that. If you know, if you physically can, then you just push past that, and that's a workout for you. Yeah. Especially if your heart beating and you sweating, you're doing good. Now, if your blur, your vision start getting blurry and you start wobbling, <laughs> you're doing bad. <laughs> you need to get back home. Time to get inside. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that sun will uh, definitely beat you up if you let it. Well, I mean, if you're in the sun, then you might want to shorten your workout, you know? Yeah. Maybe wear a big hat. Or take many breaks. In the shade, plenty of water. Yeah. Um, Alternate with some Gatorade. Yeah. Get your electrolytes back. Smoothies. Smoothies, yeah. Yeah. Um, Also, I heard stuff like like protein, like cheese and nuts and stuff like that. Little, little mm-hmm. packs. I ain't never tried none of that, but I heard it's good. You know, because mm-hmm. you got to eat something to kind of keep your strength up and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know. I had also heard, too, some people don't like going to the gym because they say they feel like if they go to the gym, they may not be a gym rat so so much. Mm-hmm. And they feel like, well, this person is lifting 500 pounds. I can't, I can barely lift 50. And they, they kind of feel embarrassed. <laughs> I mean, what's what's your take on that? I mean, you gotta do what's best for you. You gotta, you know, uh, lift what you can lift until you can work your way up to that five hundred pounds or whatever. You know. Yeah. It's so good. just just take it slow and just go at your own pace. Don't worry about what the next person is lifting. Right. I mean, I think it's it's important to enjoy yourself while you do your workout. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people listen to music because it help them block out everything else. Mm-hmm. You put your favorite song on or something that got some energy behind it and you go in on the workout. I feel like working out is a stress reliever too. Like if you have like a, a long day, a stressful day, that could really relieve the stress. Because it gives you something else to focus on. Yeah. You know, or it help you get some aggression off. <laughs> that too. You know, you got a lot of weight pressing down on you and you're mad at your boss. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> You know, you get hautified in that thing. Just... Throwing weights, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but you, you know, you gotta be healthy, man. Um, like I said, since the pandemic kicked off, I've been taking vitamins. My whole family been taking vitamins. Um, you know, drinking more water. You know. Yeah, definitely. I've been, <clears throat> I've been drinking more water, drinking more protein shakes. Uh, I've been fasting every week, three times a week. No food at all, or you just kind of cut fast, back on meals. I fast for like sixteen hours. Yeah, that's definitely like my go-to when I'm trying to lose weight. If I got to get to a certain weight or whatever, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll fast. It don't make it easy. <laughs> nah. It's it's kind of tough, you know. I'm trying to stop eating after um before six or after six or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, just it's it's hard. It's hard because for me fasting means I'm a I might you know eat a decent breakfast and then I'm gonna skip lunch and might not eat again till five o'clock. <laughs> I'm used to it because I've been doing it for about a year now. Oh, for real? Well, a little bit over a year. So. Do you feel like they give you good energy? Like when you, you know, you're fasting, staying away from cold drinks, all of that? Mm-hmm. That's good because it kind of detoxifies your body. Yeah, it does. That's good. That's good. That's good. But yeah. Don't, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to catch us on Instagram at Real Talk with Chris and Travis. Also... We have an email address. It is real talk with Chris and Travis at yahoo.com. So y'all don't, you know, don't forget to hit us up there. Also, man, let us know in the comments, like, do y'all have workout routines or, you know, y'all have any fitness goals? So let us know, man, and we'll be back next week with another video. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned. And we out. Peace.